we go. I'm recording now. All right. Um, so I can go ahead and start just to introduce myself. Um, my name is Anna. Um, I use she, her pronouns. Um, I am currently getting my bachelor's in special education um, with a concentration in elementary ed. Um, and I currently work at an elementary school as a special education paraprofessional. Um, so I am working with kids all day. <laughs> so yeah. I can go next. I am Katie. My degree is actually special education with concentration in early childhood education. And I currently work at a high school in a significant support needs classroom. Um, I guess I'll go. Um, my name's Marla. I'm currently doing elementary education, do not have my concentration picked out yet. Originally wanted to do special education, but that's not an option for the concentration. <laughs> um, I currently work at Olive Garden as a server. Hi guys, I am um, getting my degree. I'm actually doing the independent degree program. Cool. I'm getting my degree in uh, language and teaching uh, structure. Um, and my work is staying home with him and watching him grow up. And it's nice. the best thing ever. So cool, hi. Hey, this is August. <laughs> August? Yeah. Oh, what a sweet name. Hi, August. <laughs> Glad you could join us for the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> awesome cool well I'm glad that we are I'm glad that we were all able to make today work I'm sorry I've, I'm leaving at like 5 15 to go to Glenwood Springs for a couple of days so I, I appreciate you guys being willing to make this little time time chunk work to get our first meeting out of the way um awesome cool so I do not have like a very specific as the leader for this meeting, I don't have like a super specific um, agenda. I figured that we can, I do have the smart notebook like assignment um, document pulled up. So I can just kind of go through some of those things. Um, I figured that the main topic of today would be picking our topic um, and kind of sussing out exactly where we want to go with it um, and what we want to do. Um, and I was also hoping that maybe we could um, figure out some just like one or two tasks to kind of think about or complete before we meet up again. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, does what anyone- do you guys think about, sorry to cut you off. No, no, you're uh, totally fine. What do you think about maybe starting like a a Google Doc so we could like jot down ideas. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, I can go ahead and start one. And I did see, I've never used groups in Canvas, but I saw that she created a group for us. Um, I think that that could be a good place for me to put the Google Doc for us to access it. Um, but I will also, um, let's see, I will create a new one real quick and we can, I'll share it with you. Um, so. Type my email in the chat too. That you Perfect, can that's awesome. Um, yeah, whatever emails you'd like for me to use, go ahead and stick them in there and I will add you all now. It looks like in Canvas, you can actually start a Google Doc through collaboration oh, in that okay. group that she started for us. Cool. And then well, she'd be added on it too, so. Sweet. Well, that must, that probably makes the most sense. Uh, you said under collaborations? Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Google Docs. Perfect. I will get that going. Uh, does anyone, while well, I'm getting this started, does anyone have 
any specific topic or grade that they are really looking forward to creating this project for or subjects? Well, most of us, I'm not entirely sure, but most of us seem to be like elementary ish focused. Yeah. So we should probably stay in that zone and not go into unfamiliar territories. <laughs> so I'm thinking like second, third grade. Yeah. Somewhere around yes. there. Yeah, I feel I think kind of like most comfortable in that area. Um, just working with those kids, I feel like I have a, a decent understanding of kind of like where they're at and the kinds of topics that they cover in those grades. Um, so that that works for me. You just have to help me out a little. The highest I go is like first grade. <laughs> oh no, you're good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're thinking um, elementary level, maybe grades two, three. Um, cool. Are we more like math science leading or leading people or do we like more of the language arts, social studies? I'm language arts social studies less on the science okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah perfect well this is great because I think I think we're kind of all in agreement there okay good <laughs> so language arts math was not my strong suit in high school yeah, no, yeah. Same here. <laughs> yeah. math and science no thanks yeah man the math anxiety starts young <laughs> so many kids really do not like math very early on from what i'm finding but yeah okay cool um so i feel like now it's a little bit trickier because there are so many different things we can talk about i know um i think that whatever How we long learned, is like an elementary school class um I would say probably about like 60 minutes, about an hour. Um, that's usually kind of how, how long they go for, for something like that. Um, and kids can really sit, sit for so long. So obviously yeah. the, the appeal of a smart notebook um, assignment is that it's very interactive, which is great. Um, so that's, that's a, a definitely a pro. Um, what are we thinking like though? Because it said something about the full class period or full lesson period. Are you thinking like a whole 60 minute class? Um, so yeah, I remember. Um, shoot, I, I I'm like trying to find it on the document. <laughs> I know, I was like, I think I closed out of that document as I was trying to create. Okay, I'm gonna go back, pull it up. I believe that it has to be, there has to be enough um, information, enough, um, uh, what am I looking for? I lost the word, enough content to last a class period. But when we do our presentation, it's not gonna, we're not gonna have to do the whole thing. Um, so just some of those key like integrated parts of our project we will have to present um, and it does say that we will each need to present two slides. Um, I imagined I have not used Smart Notebook. I haven't downloaded it yet because I did see that it's- And I'm like waiting. <laughs> I know, it's, it's like a 45 minute or a 45 day trial. So I haven't downloaded it yet. Um, I imagined that we would already have more than eight slides um, in order to fill that time period. So. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think that having enough to present will be an issue. Um, but yes, let's see. Uh, the first page needs to have learning objectives on it. So that's one thing we can kind of be thinking about once we have our topic. Um, but yes. Okay. I was just going through it again to see. Um, and then down at the very bottom of that um, document does have criteria and grading, um, which is pretty straightforward. There are 
a few elements that we have to include text, graphic, shapes, lines, all of those. I can't imagine doing a smart notebook that doesn't include any of those. Um, but yeah, so those are all things to keep in mind. Um, so I will also, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen just so I can have the Google Doc open for all of us. Um, and she may wanna see, see also what we are typing in on there. Okay, hopefully you should be able to see it now. Yep. Um, okay, so maybe I'm struggling to come up with some different topics within language arts and social studies. Um, maybe we can just come up with a few and then narrow it down from there. If you guys have ideas. We could do like a guide, not guided reading, an explicit phonics lesson. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say phonics as well. Okay, so a phonics lesson. I think there's um, a lot to do with phonics. Yeah, that includes like books, the phonics part, like there's a lot to it. I think yeah. that would be easy to fill up 60 minutes. Yeah, definitely. There are some like grammatical rules that we can tie into that um, also if need be. Okay, so like a phonics lesson. Um, I mean, we could just stick with that. I don't know if there are other like topics. Like I was thinking um, the second graders right now are learning all about the American West and talking about the pioneers and the Plains Indians and um, you know how we kind of came to be as far as that period of time. Um, third graders, I think are talking right now about um, the moon and astronauts and doing kind of like a space, um, a space module, which is kind of interesting. Those are just some ideas, but I am very happy with also doing just kind of a phonics lesson um, if we're all leaning towards that, leaning towards that. I mean, maybe we could do phonics and space. <laughs> We could cool. we could talk we could do a space themed phonics lesson. Yeah, that sounds fun. I'm down for that. Okay. Because you would want to tie their phonics lesson into what they'd be learning in other classes too. So that would be That's easy. true. That's a really great way to um to kind of solidify some of that information when they have that um, the crossover. So let's see, we'll need to come up with some objectives, some learning objectives. That could be one of the tasks that somebody gets for this. Yeah, for sure. Okay, awesome. I feel like that took less time than I anticipated to come up with a topic, <laughs> which is really great because now I can kind of start diving in a little bit more. Um, so make a decision on the number of slides, a title for each slide and content. Um, I feel like I will need to download Smart Notebook and um, kind of familiarize myself. I will probably watch a tutorial. Um, so right now I can't think about kind of what content because I don't know what kinds of like games or interactive um, tools they have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, I, I, I feel like there's only so much I can do when I haven't, when I don't know all of the things that are offered for Smart Notebook. Yeah. We um, can start talking about like general phonics class yeah topics that need to be covered yeah so maybe like, that'll help us break it down <laughs> yeah what are some of your ideas katie what what you got well you actually you would have what the whatever phonics part we want to jump into <laughs> yeah yeah so with second phonics. and third grade level what are they as far as phonics what stage are they at um, blending. Is, yeah, by by second and third, we could also do 
I mean, we could also do younger kids who are really just kind of learning the basics of, of phonics. So learning, you know, letter, you know, letter corresponding letter sounds and letter names, and then um, blending those sounds together to, um, you know, create a nonsense word or a real word. Um, so we could, instead of doing like second and third grade, we could kind of go back um, and there might be, there are more foundational pieces that we can talk about if we want to do that instead. And those ages are a little bit closer to kind of what you're familiar with, I think, Katie, right? Your like early childhood? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, um, yeah, so if we kind of jump back and we do like kindergarten to first grade, um, obviously at the beginning they're like solidifying letter names and sounds. So they're making that connection um, and then blending sounds together to make like nonsense words or real words. So CBC words. Um, I'm trying to think about some of the other skills they're they're doing or they're working on at this point. I'm trying to. I'm actually in an emergent literacy class right now. And my brain's like, no, <laughs> we're not gonna think about that right now. I mean, um, isn't that isn't that always the way? Once we're <laughs> like sitting down, we're like, oh no, I forgot everything. Um. <laughs> Like CCBC, blending, CBC. I feel like in kindergarten they are learning, they're like being introduced to some like grammatical rules like magic E or I don't know what else it's called. Um, every school or every educator I feel like has a different term for some of these things. Yeah. Um, but like a silent E, whatever you want to call it. So I feel like they are, um, they are being introduced to some of those kind of grammatical things um, or just the rules on how we how we talk about um, how we pronounce different words and things. Um, so that also ties into um, long versus short vowel sounds. Yeah. Um, so recognizing that vowels are, you know, depending on what the word is, they make, they could say their name or they have that short vowel sound. Um, uh, sight words is a big one too. Yeah. Sight words. Or irregular um, words. You we, all, we also call them like red words or heart words. Like a, so many different terms. <laughs> um, yeah. I feel like that's, that's a good start. I feel like that's a, yeah, I feel like that's a great start. Yeah. We can no, start, start kind of diving into that. Um, so, yeah, maybe we, we could start our lesson or I was thinking maybe we could start or finish our lesson by um, talking about like a specific sight word um, and usually in like a classroom there is or from my experience there's like a sight word um, like bulletin board that we can kind of add add those sight words to um, obviously we're going to be using the smart notebook but we can kind of tie that in somehow um, but introducing like one of those sight words and doing some practice with it um, and then maybe some, and again, like, I don't, I don't know what kinds of activities or like integrated things they have on smart notebooks. So I'm not sure <laughs> how these are going to tie into the activities. Um, but yeah, and then just kind of practicing, you know, together doing some of that blending and that sort of thing. You do like long and short vowel recognition. Yeah. Space um, words. <laughs> yeah. One of the Oh, that's not helpful. <laughs> um, please excuse my messy thing here. Um, oh, that's not, okay. I'm gonna have to sign in again. 
Um, what I was going to show you guys is we have, we do use like blending boards, um, which are basically like slideshow presentations um, that have um, like little cards, um, basically like virtually and you, um, there's a sound for each card and it, it helps them kind of practice blending those sounds together. So that's a really fun way. Um, and there are with tons of different themes. So we could make a blending board that's space themed um, and it is kind of like fun and interactive. So that's one thing um, that I can kind of pull in or show you guys next time once I've officially logged in um, <laughs> and you guys can kind of, that's kind of a cool thing that we use a lot um, at my school for, for practicing some of those tools. And one thing I do at my school too so. that might be able to pull in um, is a letter of the day lesson <laughs> with okay. all on Google Docs, which brings in like the letter, the sound, like different ways, places to oh, recognize okay. it. So we could theme that too. Totally. Yeah, I like that. I know towards the beginning of kindergarten, they, um, one of the teachers last year did something similar where there was a letter of the day and they, um, you know, they talked about it and um, kids got the opportunity to um, share words that started with that letter. Um, and then she would create kind of a, like a, a map that had all of those words down surrounding the letter. Um, so that's, I like that a lot too, is having just like one letter as the focus of the lesson. What's that site where you have them all like type in a word and it pops up on the big, it's like all the words blended together and the one that's more popular is bigger. Yes. I'm like, I don't remember what that's called. <laughs> and yeah, I, I know, know what you're not describing yeah, it. it. Yeah, I don't remember what the name of the site is. Yeah, I do not remember either, but I totally know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll look it up. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Um, so it is already 4.55. Um, is there anything specific that you, that any of you are really wanting to talk about before we go, um, aside from kind of figuring out what's next um, for the Just assignment? Just figuring out what we want to do for next meeting. Yeah. Um, perfect. I sent an email to, I don't remember who, I think it was Katie and someone else today um, with that, in, with the Zoom information. Um, I also sent it to uh, Dr. Chung. Um, and I just mentioned like a couple, a tentative meeting schedule based on um, what was in Canvas for kind of our discussion. Um, so I think think that I'm that maybe the 28th Monday the 28th was mentioned possibly for our next meeting how do you guys feel about that I'm okay with that I'm okay with that okay Holly what? does that work for you what day is that it's Monday the 28th Monday yeah that's perfect okay perfect all right so we'll plan for our next meeting to be on Monday the 28th um roughly what time works for you guys on Monday um, probably like 3, 5, 30, because I don't get out of class until 5. Okay. Gotcha. Um, can we do, okay, yeah. we do like 7, I 7 30? I could do some. I, I have to put the kids to sleep. <laughs> yeah. So, Holly, what about you? We're thinking about like a later in the evening meeting, like 7, 7 30? Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so I'm an hour, I recently just moved to Idaho. So oh, okay. an hour behind. Okay. Um, and I usually put him down around seven. Okay. So I could do, yeah. I could do like a six year time um, or like an eight year time, which would be seven my time. Seven. Okay. Well, should we plan for like an eight? and on Monday in the evening and just make it kind of a quick meeting. Yeah, it could be Monday. Okay, so That's Monday, so I'm gonna go ahead and just type that in here real quick so it's on here. 
So and I can do leader for that one if you want. So our next we all have to take is turn. Monday, 28th at 8 p.m. Um, and then who is who? Katie, did you volunteer to be our leader for that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, leader is Katie. Awesome. And then maybe we could uh, come together on Monday, the 28th, and like with more ideas and maybe a little bit like just share our ideas, what we had, and yeah, yeah, get more familiar with the project. Yeah, that works for me. I'm going to definitely familiarize myself with the, the program. I'll have downloaded it by then. Yeah. Um, and I will be ready to go. We should all probably find different objectives that we think would work that way. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So maybe, which one. Yeah, so maybe next time we come together, we have like two learning objectives each for this phonics lesson. Does sure. that sound good? Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. All right. All right. Cool. Well, thank you again for making this time work. Um, and I am looking forward to collaborating on this project. Yeah. Have fun on your vacation. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good spring break. Um, if you guys are have I have the luxury of spring break because I also work at a, an elementary school, so it works out. But that's nice. you know, a break from classes at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Well, I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.